What's up, fellow tubeubers? And, uh, I have been on YouTube, you know, half my life. Five billion views, you know, and with those views comes a lot of cringy videos and a lot of pretty good videos, you know, in my opinion at least. So today we're gonna be reacting to my very first original song, which, personally, I think it's a banger. But I mean, y'all might think it's a little cringy, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure that out right now. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So before I hit play right now, we're on the title screen. I just want to say number one thing to be successful on YouTube, you gotta have a talent. You gotta pick your lane, right? Me personally, I was just a natural singer and a natural dancer. You know what I'm saying? No lessons involved. I just did it off the bat. And uh, the key to singing, guys, even if you're not the best singer. You just gotta have a natural voice. Like in this video, when I press play, you'll hear that I used zero auto-tune. My fans, even though a couple notes may have been off, my fans could hear through it and just know that I was just really trying my best, you know? Zero auto-tune, guys. Alright, let's, let's listen. Check it out. Yeah. Every little girl has a listen to how raw those notes are. Same exact dream. True. A pretty white dress that I <gasps> Right here, you know, every now and then, it can't just be me singing the whole time. I gotta have a couple cut twos of me breaking down the moves, right? So this is, uh, I don't know what the kind of dancing is called, but, uh, it was my style back then. It's evolved a little bit, but, but this was the Maddie B. Let's check it out. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, y'all saw I hit that, like, uh, little, I don't know what it's called, handstand, down to the knees, and did a... Little, a couple moves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah alright, you, you, you peep the dancing. Alright guys, another thing is uh, you can't just rap the verses straight up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have some ad-libs in there. And back then, they called me the king of ad-libs, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was the one who started these ad-libs, listen. <laughs> you heard that crying, that sneeze? That was all me. Like, Alright guys, so number two. Right? You gotta have your own style. As you can tell, my style was flawless. You gotta, you gotta pick items that just mean something to you. So as you can tell, I got the Lakers hat on, and then I got uh, the white V-neck. I guess that was in style back then with the with the with the vest. I was um, I was fresh, all right. And also, every famous rapper has gotta have some gaps in his teeth. And you already know I had like seven gaps in my teeth. So I mean that's just right off the bat, success. The gaps, right? This might make you laugh, but it's not as proof. Everything a rap's hundred percent true. When a real wedding happens, here's your proof. So guys, uh another thing is you just gotta be a lyrical genius, right? So I'm just gonna read through this verse and um we're hopefully you can just connect with me, right? So I'm starting out the verse with uh this might make you laugh, but it's not a spoof. Alright. Who do you know comes out and the last word of their first line is spoof, right? So I'm rhyming with spoof now, right? Everything I rap's 100% truth. When a royal wedding happens, here's your proof. Twinkie sales go through the roof, right? You can't even argue with that. That's just, that's just clean. All right, let's listen. Sales go through the roof and the sorority girls all get excited. The, the sorority girls, that's how I said it back then. You know, you gotta, you gotta know your fan base. And I knew that my fan base as an eight-year-old rapper with gaps in my teeth, with a vest on, I knew that college girls were gonna be all over me. So, like, I knew that was my fan base at the time, you know what I'm saying? There's so much jealousy, it's hard to hide it. Uh, all over the news and it hurts to look. So one by one, they tweet and fight. <laughs> you gotta throw in some accents in there. Like, I had to throw in the country accent. You can't just do one accent, right? You gotta, you gotta switch it up every now and then, you feel me? Say it. <laughs> Such an issue. I know a girlfriend. Me right there, I'm doing the, the sad girl accent. Like, it's just variety in my verses. Like, not many people at eight years old can do that. I know all my consents. And there she goes, just found a prince. Wow. Real life princess must be nice. Another accent, man. That should be me, it's just not right. It's so so sweet, but it feels like a knife. She's gonna I can, uh, She's gonna have the perfect life. Every little girl has the same exact Man, I had I had pipes back then. <gasps> Why are we still making music like this, Mars? Like, we should go back to the raw days. Alright guys, another thing to connect with the audience, you gotta rap about something that's relevant at the time. The wedding of Will and Kate, I knew that 
girls all over the world would just be devastated. And me making the song also, it was a, it was a two in one, just to let them know that uh, I was on the market, you know what I'm saying? Now the hardest part is the honeymoon More pictures than the can can do So the first three days they sit in the room Back and forth, bit and fume Yo, those bars were tight <laughs> Those bars were tight But there's major problem Girly stuff, we can't solve them yeah. Soon as they showed her in that tiara No, they all hit rock bottom <laughs> Guys, alright, alright Another thing You gotta really You gotta really act out your lyrics So right here in this bridge, I guess you, you could just tell that I was just a natural actor, like, like, so I'm hitting them with the singing, the dancing, and the acting, that's three in one. Just, just listen to this acting, like, this is, this is natural. Before I watch anymore, I'm gonna need some Diet Coke and, and, and a tub of keto. That's pretty accurate. So guys, right now, the video is getting a little bit boring, so you know, I just had to hit him with something unexpected. The next part of a big video, a dance break, you always gotta have a dance break. Just look at me go. <laughs> Honestly, if I tried to dance like that again today, I don't think I could do it. That was that was just natural at the in the moment. Oh, another thing, guys. When you're shooting a video, you just gotta be in the moment. Like in this, you really think I was worrying about anything else? No, I was worrying about my sick dance moves. And you already know every single rapper out there, you gotta try to pick up girls. I, uh, at the end, I was just letting them know that I'm on the market and that I was available at the time. And uh, yeah, great way to end it off. Let all the let all the girls know that even though Prince Will is taken, eight year old Natty B is uh, still completely wide open. Watch out! <laughs> And you gotta hit him with the with the little giggle at the end, makes the ladies go go nuts. All right, so I gave y'all some tips. We went over the video, and I think that video was not cringy at all. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Uh, we're gonna read some comments and just see what see what other people had to say about it. One year ago, from Carter, I hate haters. Same. So I guess I am a hater. Sorry, Matt. B boy for life. Work hard, play hard. Three exclamation marks. You already know, work hard, play hard, shake off the haters, throwing it back. Two months ago, from Johanny, who listens to this in 2017 and who like Maddie B? Sorry, it was in all capitals. But, um, I don't know if you're saying you liked it or not, but I'm just gonna say thanks. Two years ago, from Paigey Wagey, that was literally the best ending I've ever seen. He says, don't worry ladies, I'm available. I burst into laughing. I told you guys, you gotta end it off with letting the ladies know that you're available, you feel me? All right. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I hope you didn't cringe too hard, because I know that I sure didn't. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I can help you uh, get started on your YouTube channel. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Thanks, guys. Until next time.